I hope everybody is doing very, very well. We are just going to tap into Gemini's energy. Today, Gemini's, I am going to do your no contact read and then the second portion of the video will be your energy pull, okay? So let's just get into the no contact read and see what we have for you. So if, that's, if this does resonate, go ahead and thumbs up the video here on the live key. If it doesn't resonate, you guys, I will have your playlist linked below in the description box, okay? So let's get into it and see what we have for you. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father. What's going on for Gemini's no contact read? The person that Gemini is thinking about, the person that's thinking about Gemini. What is the energy? I'm just going to move this over here a little bit. I'm trying to get my, my placement right <laughs> on this table, y'all. Okay, the sprinklers are on, so you guys might hear it hit the window. Okay, so let's see. For Gemini's, please. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father. Ooh, no contact the person that Gemini's thinking about, the person that's thinking about gems. The energy. Okay, you know. Okay, justice. Person that's thinking about gems, a person that Gemini is thinking about. All right, so we have a few good things here, and then we have a few things that needs to be worked on within this no contact read. I do feel like you're getting the justice. You know, you're getting the good karma that's coming back to you. I do see the two of cups for the first card here that showed up for you and then you have the uh, six of pentacles energy and then you have the two of pentacles in reverse so clearly there's a decision here that needs to be made within this person's energy i feel like this person might be overwhelmed within the two of pentacles there is some balance that is coming into this it's crazy because this is a no contact read, but this person still cares about you and you still care about them because you have the two of cups, you have the six of pentacles. I feel like there's going to be a shift or a change within this energy. Okay. Oh my God. Oh, I said the six, but this is the eight. So this is even better. It's like this person is getting themselves ready or... This person is trying to better better themselves, trying to change, especially on the outside. I feel like when it comes to giving you the stability that you're looking for, like they're trying to make a way here within the Eight of Pentacles. So, and they want you to know this. So they're going to sh like share this with you. All right. I'm also seeing the justice here. So this is where the good karma comes in. I'm also seeing some kind of release from kind of like being restricted, trapped, feeling like you are just not valued enough in this connection or feeling like you have something has been stolen from you. You have been lied to, deceived, tricked. Um, so many energies here that you are facing and then I'm seeing this devil's energy as well. So the only thing that I can say about this person, Capricorn, uh, Libra energy, major arcana that's coming out it's that this person seemed to be stuck into something and i feel like because they're stuck into a situation they want you to feel stuck too for some reason okay um this is what i'm getting here it's like they know they have to make some form of decision because they are overwhelmed within the situation but It's like they're still stuck within this toxic environment, this uh, 
this could be anything this could be drug addiction sexual addiction drinking addiction gambling this could be toxic family toxic friends like who they are you know grown up they're going they're putting you through a lot of five adversities this is number 15 within capricorn and within the devil's energy um but i feel like a lot of you are like releasing yourself from this energy as well within this energy pull well within this no contact read because it's like they don't have any control over you anymore within the eight of swords in reverse it's like you're giving yourself that closure you're giving yourself that that clarity the truth and look you have the justice here it's because of that good karma that came in the truth the scales okay the scales are balanced out here i mean it could be that this person told you what you needed to know because they got all caught up but i feel like either way they're just you know they're just stuck within a situation that they're into let me see because i've been pulling for this deck real quick i feel like there's some message in this deck for you it's a whole bunch of cards so let's see just a message holy spirit Okay, it says you're a person here. <sighs> okay, it says, will you ever make things right? Hmm, I love your hustle. Will you ever make things right? I feel like this person wants you to make the first move here. They want you to make the first move. They love your vibe. They love how you, you do certain things. You go after your dreams. You inspire them. Again, your person. I want to thank you. You've shown them how to love. Oh, wants to thank you. You've shown them how to love. They're sorry for the hurt they did. So this is a message from the Holy Spirit about your person because it says wants to thank you so it's like this person wants to thank you but i feel like there's a lot of pride here too so it's not coming off in the physical like it should like it's coming off in the spiritual realm <sighs> because you showed them how to love let's do one more and they want to make things right <laughs> look at this okay your person it kills me when you ignore me. I really love you. Wow. It kills me when you ignore me. I really love you. I never had this one before. And it's crazy because they talk about love here a lot. You know? Love is coming up a lot here. It says, wants to thank you. You have shown them how to love. They're sorry for the hurt they did. It kills me when you're ignoring me. I really love you. And I feel like this is so confirmed because you do have the Two of Cups as your first card, which is mutual love. And then this person is trying to, you know, impress you somehow. Trying to impress you somehow. But there's a decision that needs to be made here. I feel like they're failing at whatever this is. This two of pentacles. They're not doing very well within that energy, that space. So. Not doing too well, you guys. Capricorn, Libra, Major Arcana. Some of you could be dealing with a Cancer Moon because the first energy that came out was the Cancer energy. So, Cancer Moon. Okay. Tell me more.
All right, so you have here uh, two of, wow, it's funny how you have the two of cups and now you're having the two of wands. As your next card, you have the two of wands here. So the choice is yours. You have the world in the upright. And then you have the ace of wands. So there's a lot of movements that are showing up. A lot of things are happening here. Things are happening very quickly, very fast. This person that is coming up for you, I'm going to tap into their energy a little bit later, but I just feel like this person's energy is giving me like they want you to choose. They want you to choose them kind of vibe. They want you to, to choose to be with them. I'm also seeing a completion, you know, like this person is working really hard on, you know, a completion here. Like, don't want to go through the same thing that you guys have been going through. Like, they want to make things better within this energy, within this space. It's like they're working really hard to do that as well. This is the vibe that I'm getting. And then there's a lot of fast-paced movement here. It's like this person can't control this. This is killing them, but it's just everything is happening so quickly. I feel like this person wants a new beginning with you, and this is why they're so overwhelmed as well. It's like they got caught up within this child childhood play here. We have the wow, yeah, they're 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 overwhelmed. The seven of cups energy. This could be family. This could be friends. This could be just you know different partners as well i just feel like this person is realizing that you are the best thing that ever happened to them and i feel like they they created some kind of you know trials and tribulations here within the seven of cups they created a lot of <laughs> a lot of disaster within your life like they brought these people in your life and i feel like these people are now emotionally invested or devoted to this person and this person needs to make a decision because they're just showing overwhelmed energy quite confused um it's like they took up too much they took on too much you have the Ace of Cups also in the reverse and then the Three of Swords energy. So a lot of you are going through a delay of whatever you need to experience together, which this could have been real love, which it is. But of course, you have freedom of will to do what you want. So this person made a choice and then they have repercussions within the choice. And this is what happens. You know, this is the effect of the cause. So we have the Ace of Cups in reverse. So there's a delay of your cup being overflowed, meaning that the things that you want for yourself and your relationship is on some form of pause energy. Because you're dealing with this Three of Swords, which happened a while back because the Three of Swords is showing up in reverse as well. Like this is past tense, okay? but it's still your ace of cups is still in delay it's like you're trying to release you're trying to forgive this person as you can see with the eight of swords it's funny how you have the eight of wands i mean not the eight of wands the what do you the eight of um the eight of pentacles and then you have the eight of swords as well so it's a lot of eight 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 energy here angel michael the protector correct in a lot of things here i feel like this would have been a little bit harmful that's why that angel is appearing there for you because you know the self like your self-confidence went down your value like this person was hurting you in a different way um not so meant like this could also be mentally because these are swords you know mental and if you're you're affected in your 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 way of thinking then you're going to not do anything physical you're going to stop you're going to feel down things are going to start to be slow within your energy and i feel like this is why angel michael appeared undercover not so in the flesh but um yeah there's a lot of work here 
there's a lot of balance that is needed back into this situation, which you're trying to do. You're trying to heal. You're trying to choose yourself because there was a lot of thinking here and not having the facts. Okay. But either way, there's um, some kind of delay and this person is not making it easier because they're showing up as a devil's energy. So Capricorn, for those of you, Taurus, not Taurus, what is it? Capricorn, Libra energy. Ooh, in the world you have Gemini, Aquarius, Taurus. Yeah, I said Taurus. Doors and Leo, okay, in the world. A completion. I just feel like you're going to be traveling. You have the world here plus the two of uh, wands. A lot of you are going to choose to like go somewhere else or do something else. Because this is like really fast energy, fast pace, and then it's happening with this ace of wands here all together. So I'm just seeing like making a choice. A lot of you are at your crossroads as well. I mean, you still do love this person. And it's crazy because the two of cups is in the upright. Like there is no real uh, separation here. So hmm interested interesting it's like you're still looking at each other still valuing each other it's like you're still feeling each other too you're picking up each other's energy tell me more wow the nine of wands yeah you're still fighting look at this the nine of wands this is for both of you like you're both still fighting within this energy there's a lot of trials and tribulations for sure but you're still fighting wow high priestess cancer energy for those of you that are dealing with a cancer and then we have here the Ooh, you have the five of pentacles so this is a present energy five of pentacles um i feel like you're not allowing this person to see that you're hurting or you're struggling it's like this person is saying that they don't even know how you feel even though this is mutual feelings it's like you're being secretive within the high priestess and it's not because you don't trust this person and you don't want to like let them know is that you're just you know you're just not ready to tell this person how you feel you're being very selective um you're watching the situation um you're going through a lot of trials and tribulations with this being alone or being abandoned some of you might have children or have responsibilities on your back and this person just left you with a lot of their responsibilities too within this five of pentacles i feel like within this five of pentacles it could also feel like this person have used you in some form of way um betrayed you in some form of way uh this person could have left you for someone else within the five of pentacles as well um but the five of pentacles is in the upright and so is the high priestess so that's in the present moment but i do feel like you and this person doesn't want to let go of each other quite yet it's like you're still you're still there within that energy within that space oops something fell if it comes out again it's meant to be here tell me more holy spirit holy angels and father all right, so you have the Fool's energy, okay? You also have the Six of Pentacles. Wow, Six of Pentacles. I remember I was like calling this the Six of Pentacles, and now it's here. You have the Eight of Pentacles, the Six of Pentacles. So this person is working really hard, but I'm also seeing the Six of Pentacles in reverse. The Fool's is Gemini, Aquarius, and Libra energy. So you have more air qualities here. That is coming out i feel like something is happening very suddenly like even though you're going through a lot of trials and tribulations the high priestess is there it's like you're content within yourself about the situation you're not sharing your thoughts with anyone you're being really secretive and very selective 
and I'm seeing like the fools here is like this you know jumping in to with each other this is also a both card for me like both of you you know I'm getting like a both energy all three cards are like a both energy here not just me not just you us us jumping in I feel like this could be love at first sight okay there is like this feeling of you make me feel like a kid you make me feel free you make me feel happy like I don't have to watch my back okay but you've been through so much so I feel like the, the trials and tribulations that you're going through is not so this person it's so the people that is around this person like the seven of cups for instance that are making issues here within this relationship because it seems like you both still want to be with each other and fight and protect you're protecting each other's relationship foundation here within the nine of wands also getting a lot of history but there's a lot of imbalancement and something must have really happened for you guys to stop talking to each other because you have the queen of swords here and then of course you have this three of swords that is like in the past energy so this happened quite a while back but this energy is coming back up like it's about to have a debut back into your life like there is movement with this situation okay ah oh, interesting okay you guys i had to change some stuff because i needed things to be accessible <laughs> <laughs> I was sick and tired of doing this in my videos. <laughs> All right, so let's just continue here. Tell me about this Queen of Swords. Why is this energy not in any kind of communication, Holy Spirit? Wow, I feel like with the Ace of Pentacles here, it's like this bitterness like bittersweet energy. You have the Ace of Pentacles that came out for this queen of swords okay i feel like this person is mad about this not working out um again a lot of pride that is coming into this situation into these feelings this person wants to still be with you this person wanted you guys to work this out why do i feel like there was an ultimatum here like you were being forced into something when you know something is up And it's like they felt like you didn't choose because this person is still looking at you as being together they're still looking at you as being together but obviously i do see a lot of bumps in the road here okay especially with that seven of uh cups energy and this person with this needing to choose within this two of pentacles being like this kid this child all right um let me tap into this person's energy on the solo end by itself. Let's see here. Let's see the energy. This person. The energy of this person. Let's see the energy of this person. So what's the energy of this person, Holy Spirit? Coming through for gems. Ooh. Coming through for gems. Coming through for gems. What's this person's energy coming through for gems. <clears throat> Look at this. The two of pentacles. The Two of Pentacles is like the first card, the Four of Pentacles as well. Something about controlling time here. I feel like because this person is juggling, they can give you the time that you deserve or the respect within this relationship that you deserve. And they were giving you some form of stability, but I feel like it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough here. Yeah. You have the well within this person's energy. 
there's something that's going on that you don't know about i feel like this person is talking about their past the king of pentacles as well the king of pentacles is lead by virgo wow the ace of pentacles Ooh, a lot of earth tone elements tell me more and then you have the five of wands energy the five of wands <clears throat> in reverse so this person is talking about a conflict that happened they're showing this as past tense so this person wants to resolve this situation within the five of wands i'm also seeing the ace of pentacles so again you know the ace of pentacles coming up them acting like they're they don't want this like they're avoiding this situation with the king of pentacles in reverse ace of pentacles in the in the upright clearly they want this they want this but i feel like this person pride is really you know making it very difficult okay it's like they're doing the wrong in the situation but it's like they're trying to punish you for it it's like they want you to stay within a toxic situation which is very unfair to you because you didn't cause this it's like they want you to wait for them while they're deciding like what they need to do with their lives and that's not fair for you i feel like this person wants to have this with you because it, it keeps coming up within your energy that we clarify that why the communication wasn't like what why was it cut off because this bittersweet energy this ace of pentacles wanting something so bad something that you guys have built together for some of you could be married i'm getting that like tied together energy is either your soulmates um or you have built a lot together in this world and it's, you have a lot of history because clearly like this person is is don't want to let that go don't want to let you go they still don't hmm they want to resolve this matter within the five of wands enough is enough here i feel like this could be other people as well that's trying to get at you or trying to attack you but i'm also seeing some things from this person path in the well energy scorpio cancer pisces water based that you don't know about within this energy number 22 could be important here for those of you or february 2nd um or the 22 of them uh, of a day or, or a month or something like that a 22 day of a month um but i'm seeing like this person hasn't went in depth about their past with you yet and this is crazy because it seems like you guys are just very tight within the emotions but this person haven't told you the truth about their past hmm tell me more so we have the fool's energy as well so we have gemini aquarius and libra again showing up within this person's energy we also have the judgment which is Aries and Libra energy for those of you who are dealing with a Libra Libra keeps coming up <laughs> and then I'm seeing the apology within the page of cups or you know trying to make the first move here trying to really just go back to maybe being friends um, I just feel like this person is trying to get back into your life somehow from a no contact energy or no communication energy to some kind of conversation i'm also seeing the seven of wands so there's a lot of control that this person was holding on to and i'm seeing like this person has chosen to let that go to give up to ignore this situation 
and with this energy i just feel like they made so much problems here and now they're decided not to even deal with it so <clears throat> i'm also seeing the death energy as well in scorpio for those of you who are dealing with the scorpio and the queen of wands Ooh, the queen of wands energy which is what aries energy <laughs> For those of you who are dealing with an Aries. Um, interesting. Again, and you know, I'm just feeling like this, okay, this over, this like overbearing energy of needing to decide what I want to do, but at the same time, jumping into a connection with you or jumping back in very quickly without any form of you know you like you both have this energy about yourself it's like when you guys get together you just forget about the bull crap and you kind of like embrace the moment here um, i'm seeing a decision that hasn't been made here we have the judgment in reverse. This could also be the Holy Spirit because this is a spiritual card, which I'm just seeing like number 20 for those of you that it just has not been made yet. This could be on your part as well. Like you haven't made a permanent decision within this situation or this person because I feel like the angels are going to do whatever they're they're gonna just accept and appreciate whatever they are going to whatever day direction they're going to to, to go with um, but this person wants to apologize to you but they haven't made that decision yet but they want to Hmm, interesting. I feel like this person looks at you as the Queen of Wands, which is a very wonderful card. There was some kind of breakup here that was placed in motion, and they feel like you have, it's like you haven't looked back. It's, they, you know, they're saying like you moved on from this situation. Like you moved on from this situation as well. Tell me more, Holy Spirit. The Eight of Wands energy, the Four of Swords energy, the Page of Wands energy. Wow. Again, wow. Look at the confirmation of the Nine of Wands within this person's energy wanting to work something out with you wanting to hold on to the relationship and fighting for the connection i don't see where this person want has a new form of direction and this is why the judgment is also in reverse here because this person hasn't made a decision yet um i feel like there is going to be a window between you and this person with this four of swords being in reverse it's a very slow window that is going to open for, for for communication, excuse me, but it's going to happen. This is what I'm seeing here, okay? You have the Eight of Wands, which is very slow, the Four of Swords. This was a blockage that was in place to protect yourself mentally. Um, you were being triggered within this energy, okay? This is what I'm getting here. You were being triggered within this energy. You felt some kind of way. And they realize that, but they don't want to stop fighting for this connection. Even though you both are beaten up or tired within this environment, <laughs> I'm just seeing like there's like this holding on. I feel like this person is like letting go of what they're trying to hide or control. But one thing that they're sure of is that they want to continue to fight for this connection with this Nine of Wands energy. And I'm seeing a lot of manifestation, prayer, getting into power with this, you know, opening their third eye, okay, receiving messages from their crown chakra, 
really activating their heart chakra and really want to communicate within their th their throat chakra as well so there's a lot of positive energy coming into this like this person just want to turn things around um but again making that decision is very crucial and i feel like the decision that they're also dealing with um yes i see multiple other people but i feel like that could be their family too um and i do feel like some of you are going through some kind of you know multiple partnerships as well but i feel like there is something going on within this person's energy that they have not told you within the devil and they're really struggling within this and they want you to know but this is this is deep this is deep this is depth energy this is about going back from the beginning of where it started so this person is going to take you on a journey this is what i'm seeing here on their journey you know they want you to be a part of it but they haven't made this decision yet okay um this this what do you call it well energy is in reverse meaning that there is something there that needs to be discussed and shared with you but i feel like this person is just again need to make that decision to do it because it's like they're thinking about it but they're unwilling to do it right now just like the apology but look at this the ten of pentacles this person wants to be with you it's like you're going through so much trials and tribulations but they're manifesting such a positive outcome for you and them and i feel like this person is coming off as a positive like a, in a positive way even though they have so much trials and tribulations and so many things against them but they're really hoping that you find someone that you love if it's not them they want it to be them but they want you to have happiness they want you to have joy they want you to be loved and appreciated they want you to have the things that they cannot give you at this time you know what i mean this person still is like praying for that for you for them um and they want you to have this legacy like they want to leave you their legacy they want to build a legacy with you it's like that 10 and that ace look at the 10 and the ace in the upright in the present moment they still feel this for you and this is why it's so important for this person to resolve the situation with you um there's a lot of um what is it complications or trying to have some kind of competition as well somebody trying to compete with you again this could be their family feeling like you're going to take them away or you are a bad influence on them you know them not knowing the truth and how you you're helping this person to grow so let's see because i'm being pulled here <clears throat> okay so let's see what we have from the T deck. Let's get some messages out here from the T deck. Let's see energy. T deck. Number 13. Ah, so this is about groupies. This is about people that wants to be with them. So they have options here. And these are fast paced people. So these are people that would do anything to get with this person. Memories, flashback, trauma, side effects. They're haunted by their past as well. And we just talked about that. This person is haunted by their past. The back of the deck, you do have the hangman. Pisces energy in reverse. This person is very prideful. Ooh. Very prideful. Look at this. Someone is, this is what you say, same shit, different day. <laughs> this is what they say, or this is what you say. <clears throat> They're like, how you doing? Same shit, different day. Oh my gosh. Okay a lot of responsibilities bankrupt it's like things are becoming due you need to make payment let's see okay we have kiss and ass as well 
what is this about creeping spying on you watching you so i'm definitely seeing like this person is going to be doing whatever it takes to get back to you it's like it says kissing ass and creeping around is like watching you it just explains this hangman but they're acting very prideful here within the future energy so um things are going to shift with that i don't feel like this person is going to be i feel like they're going to be watching you but they're not going to be creeping um much longer i feel like either way if you chose to be with them or not it's just going to be the same conclusion so let's see mm, child services oh my gosh um, like I said, I got the five of pentacles and I felt like within this energy, there were some kind of kids that was involved with the situation. Um, there was some kind of, you know, energy on your back where you are taking all the responsibilities. I do feel like this person wasn't around for something. Um, it says here kids at risk of being taken away um, or is about to reporting something that is just abusive you know i just feel like um uh, i just feel like there's a lot of this is bitterness too because i was getting some kind of bitterness with this person's energy why the communication wasn't happening when when i tapped into your energy and it was because of the ace of pentacles this ace of pentacles is very important to this person it's everything that you guys have built together and it's the family it's the last name is what this person is going to leave behind and it's like this person wanted to still be a family but they have entertained some kind of negative energy within this relationship and so i'm seeing like trying to be bitter knowing that you're a good person knowing that you're a good father or you're a good mother and trying to take away that thing that you love as well to kind of like stab you in the back because you don't want to be with this person right now it's not that you don't love this person it's just like you need some space like this person is not giving me an energy like where your spirit where your energy is being respected because you did put some kind of blockage in place here within the four of swords and i'm getting like this person is you know it's just giving me a vibe of like okay well that is up we need to speak even though you want to rest or you want to you know be, be on your own right now it's not gonna happen we can't do that It's like they're trying to make it seem like you're not a good parent, like you're like you're abusing your child or you're not treating your child right. And abuse could come in different ways, but I just feel like they're trying to say that you're just not present. Like you're just like not being around to be there for your kids. Hmm, that's crazy. Or your businesses something that you gave birth to it doesn't even have to be a kid it could be a business that they want to push you out and they're trying to get as much information as possible on this <laughs> like they're trying to dig dig up dirt on you <sighs> and you're trying to dig up dirt on them i feel like you guys might be going to court too i'm seeing some kind of court situation Like something is not decided yet, like, but I'm, I'm seeing that energy because this is becoming very toxic. You feel like you're being threatened. I don't feel like it's like from this person, but I feel like it's from other people that want to be with this person. Like you're being threatened here. Like they try to intimidate you or something like that. Hear you. Hmm. 
<laughs> and they don't want you to move on cock blocking as well they don't want you to move on with anyone else within this bird's energy that's interesting yeah, that's the tea Mm. dodging bullets I feel like this person I don't it's like I don't see like this person as a negative person but I feel like their surroundings are negative because they're trying to really like tap that out like the best thing that ever happened to them was the the foundation that they have built with you and they're trying to like really tap out this negative force of energy all right because I'm seeing them like letting it go, letting it go, trying to resolve this, trying to work something out um, because of this Ace of Pentacles. Acting like this is like the family is not the best thing that ever happened to them. Like this person does that. They don't show their emotions within Pisces in reverse. <clears throat> Blocking negativity, escaping crazy people, protected. What is it? Protected by haters. <clears throat> As you can see. It's like they're they're not negative, but I feel like they're trying to protect themselves here. Because they do have a lot of toxic people around them. Okay? This person does have that. So let's just clarify some cards real quick okay that's already here let's see i think we had some things over here okay this is fine so tell me about the two of pentacles holy spirit holy angels holy father the two of pentacles Okay, so you have the Eight of Cups energy in reverse. <sighs> wow. So I just feel like because they didn't make a decision, they're saying that they regret this and they're saying that they caused you to walk away from the situation. And they really regret that this was placed in motion within the Eight of Cups energy. Their intuition is also coming at play here within Pisces. Again, Pisces energy is ruled by the eight of cups all right so tell me about the well holy spirit wow that came out well we have two here the five of swords and the eight well not the eight the nine of pentacles energy nine of pentacles in reverse and also the five of swords i feel like this person scammed you or took something away here or spend your money within the four of pentacles this person is seeming to be a spender there was a lot of things that this person did that manipulate your mind or to trick you within something here trick you into getting your your stability your independence your power um this is what i'm getting like this tricked energy all right um tell me about the judgment energy in reverse and I feel like I'm getting bad move because um, the nine of pentacles is Virgo energy where there was some kind of bad decision that was made there. So they're regretting this decision here. They want to resolve this five. This could also be with other people as well. You have two fives that's coming out for this person's energy. So this is a lot to deal with, you know, one five is enough, you know, deal with, you know, other people that is coming in and feeling like, you know they're trying to take away your dreams and your goals and the, the work that you put in into a foundation and they're just jealous of you and this is why they're doing it but then you're dealing with this person and their bad behavior as well and making you feel so embarrassed like you're by yourself and fighting by yourself and yet they're bringing up this nine of wands like they want to fight with you they want to be with you they want to have that energy with you as well you know it's just it's just crazy how this person is just giving me that vibration, right? Um, 
and yet they did so many bad things to you so you have you have the re you have your reasons why you want to move certain way even though you still love this person and you still want to fight for this connection i don't see like you guys are filing the papers but this is something that is also discussed for those of you who are married like if the, do you want to continue this marriage do you still want to work on this marriage you know um but i'm just feeling like hmm, interesting interesting very interesting here tell me about this judgment and this is why things have not been decided because this person is yeah they did all these things to you but in the angel's eyes they're also trying to make amends or have some form of redemption you know energy as well so tell me more so you have the six of wands energy six of wands energy in reverse so this person forgot their grace you know just like i picked up like you built them you built them you gave them so much of your time your energy um you put them up at a place at a level in this relationship that they never thought that they would be and they forgot you know their grace they forgot to say thank you um which is really crazy because you have this person energy coming out here within the cards and it says wants to thank you you've shown them how to love they're sorry for the hurt they did okay so this person realizes and it says your person on top so your person realizes what they have done within the six of a six of wands energy All right so tell me about this Ooh, one, tell me about this king of pentacles holy spirit holy angels holy father angel guides ancestors about this king of pentacles so you have the eight of pentacles energy here so they're working really hard that's what this is it's not so avoiding you uh, it might just seem like they are but they're like really working hard to better themselves and to you know just really impress you and let you know that they're moving forward within this situation not backwards um and this is what I'm seeing. This is why they're avoiding or they don't have time. Okay. It's like they're trying to make that money up. Something about money for this Ace of Pentacles. Tell me about this Five of Wands energy. Five of Wands energy. Five of Wands. All right. So you have, wow, marriage for some of you. This is the high, pre the, not the high, this is the high Ferrand um, energy. And I feel like there is a lot of people trying to fight against this, right? But this person is choosing to fight for this. I feel like there's a lot of people, especially in the high Ferrand, that wants this person not to fix this, not to work on this, not to you know get back together with you because this is a no contact obviously so you guys are not together at this moment and this person's energy is like they want to work things out but there is people in your connections and i'm seeing them from the five to the seven okay i think we even had the seven of cups energy as well that showed up earlier and then you have the five of swords that's another bunch of folks that are just like enjoying the fact that you are arguing enjoying the fact that you guys are splitting up it's like you're making their day and this person didn't make it better you know because they were in this energy of in it to win it within the five of swords but now something have switched where they're like okay enough is enough i need to work on my relationship within the star within the height hyperont energy which is taurus energy so they're really determined to do this tell me about the seven of wands the seven of wands you have the three of pentacles in reverse so there was a lot of conflicts here i feel like there is more than you and this person there's another person here that is making this difficult for you and this person to get along 
and learn the lessons that you're supposed to learn within this life. So tell me about the Eight of Wands energy, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, Holy Father. We have the Three of Swords in reverse. So this person is afraid because they have hurt you, even though this happened a while back because there's, they keep bringing this Three of Swords up like a past situation. Um, and they're still, they're still scared to come to you though and to tell you the information. So they're being very careful with that. Tell me about the Four of Swords in reverse. You have the temperance, the temperance, Angel Raphael showing up within the temperance energy, reminding this person to heal and to choose himself and also divine timing is at play here when it comes to communication because I feel like this person is wanting to speak to you and sometimes it's come off as when they're ready that they're just not respecting your space. And the angel is appearing to remind them that divine timing is everything and divine timing is behind this this um, communication okay so they don't have to rush anything they don't have to force anything this you know give all control give all control so their angel is trying to work with them to understand that and then tell me about the page of wands Holy Spirit in reverse The page of wands in reverse. What's that energy in reverse? Ooh, the world, the incompletion. So I feel like with your energy, you have some form of traveling that is going to be happening here. And it's like I'm seeing a lot of you moving on from, you know, this energy for now. But this person's energy is letting me know that you guys have unfinished business. They want a brand new start. They want this to happen very quickly for you and them. This is what I'm getting here within this space, within this energy. So we have the Ace of Wands, very fast, passionate, um, you know, future vibes, movement. Well, this is also about history, too. This could be about the past. Um, within the wands but I just feel like this person definitely wants a new beginning here and they're very passionate about it so there's going to be a lot of movement okay a lot of movement and that's what you have for that energy look at that being patient they want you to be patient but this is the knight of pentacles within the future vibes and then you have the justice here so justice is on your side okay good karma good vibration the truth i'm also seeing the tower so there's a lot of things that you guys need to deal with which is your way of speaking to each other uh, make sure you're being gentle and calm and collective within the strength um, find a new form of way to communicate and to deal with this uh the situation so i wanted to see how this person's feelings for you i think i you know i already know i already know the two of cups it's mutual but let's just see what the present moment is when it comes to this person's energy okay when it comes to this person's feelings and then we're going to close this read and then we're going to look, put a little commercial in um within the video and then we are going to tap into the what you call it the next portion of the video which is going to be your energy pull and i hope you appreciate this read this way gems i think this is what i'm going to do instead of making a whole bunch of videos every day um we're just going to do two videos and then we're going to go live as well um to get you know get the channel up and going and so all right, I had a dream about that, and I, I, my, I guess my guide is like, look, you need to do this then. If that's not working, let me help you out, because obviously you're having a breakdown. <laughs> so let me just help you out, because, oh, gosh. All right, so let's see what we have here for your feelings, for their feelings, excuse me, their feelings. What's going on with their feelings, Holy Spirit? What's going on with their feelings? What the feelings for Gemini's? Ooh, the nine. Hold on now. Something was trying to come out. Oh, okay. The moon. 
all right so clearly there's some things that you guys need to accomplish which is the five of pentacles this abandonment this coldness this making you feel like you just don't exist within this relationship and making you feel like you had to take responsibilities on your own and just leaving you and this is something that they want to very much work with you okay this hardship this financial loss and help you through it so the money that they're trying to make up it i feel like they're trying to like show you that you know they can take care of you or they can take care of half of the situation but there was something that was going on with some kind of stability that i picked up where this person was avoiding their responsibility and a lot of you i felt like there was some kind of court issue as well that was coming up here and look at that a five of wands again showing up so they want to resolve things with you they know that they have uh, mistreated you or you know made you feel like they did, wasn't really truthful with you when it comes to the cups when it comes to what you want and what you value in a connection they feel like they wasted your time here they do have a lot of secrets i feel like without telling you the secrets and sharing what happened within their past that this can't work regardless so i feel like this person cares about you a lot they think about you a lot they think about how they're going to tell you this their intuition is like speaking to them about you and telling them that they need to open up to you but this person is giving me like a slow scared vibe um of energy tell me more let's see the future vibes let's see you know not knowing how to talk to you not knowing how to deal with this but wanting to help you out regardless i do see a lot of baggage here that they're trying to get rid of i feel like this is their family and this is a toxicity because they want a new beginning i feel like with you they've been going through a cycle and some kind of bad jojo as well this could also be karmic uh, um situation because the wheel of fortune is in reverse here so um, you know just going through it and trying to learn the lessons within the wheel of fortune because this person wants to be able to go through the wall with you i'm also seeing working this out you know looking at this as an incompletion wanting to forgive and to forget wanting to can i should i keep going wanting to, re to resolve the five of swords as well the things that they have done to you that was very embarrassing very hurtful and they want to resolve that but this is what we have for the first portion of your video gems i hope that this does resonate with you and if it does you know what to do like the video give the video a huge thumbs up as soon as this video hit 300 likes you guys i will be selecting someone in the comment section for a 30 minute free session with me go ahead and make sure you guys are also commenting down below not just liking the video because the in the in the comment section that's where the winner will be chosen okay so make sure you're saying hi or make sure you're just giving a little mojo or make sure everything just do something in the comment section so you guys are entered in to win that and yeah all the information about me as well will be in the description box so let's cut this and then get to the next portion of your video <laughs> and i have to be more organized okay <laughs> This is going to be for Gemini's. So welcome back. This is the second portion of the video. Um, we are going to tap into your energy poll. So you guys know what to do. Comment down below if this does resonate. When this video do hit 300 likes, we are going to be selecting someone from the comment section. I'm super ready for it. So I hope you guys are ready for that as well. I've been watching the likes and I feel like on the live session we almost hit it but let's get this on the videos on the channel tab okay so let's get the likes back up thank you for joining me here today I feel like this needs to oh okay thank you holy spirit holy angels <laughs> just didn't want that to fly around so let's see what the energy pull is for gems what's the energy pull for gems the energy pull for gems hmm. 
order. Ooh, different. So the Six of Swords is the first card that is shown up here. Then you have the Eight of Swords energy as well. You also have the Empress in reverse for those of you who are dealing with a Virgo energy um, or some kind of codependency here around you. All right. I feel like this person is definitely giving you some kind of trapped energy, um, not giving you quite the truth. I'm not seeing like you're getting the truth here within the situation. You have Angel Michael showing up as the strength to have courage because a lot of you are definitely feeling like you are down or there's just something happening here within your life that you just feel like it's off. I'm definitely seeing the moon. So it's like a situation had already occurred. And I feel like the angels are letting you know here, especially Angel Michael, like there was uh, so many signs within this situation. We try to let you know this, but you have the will to make your decisions and your choices. And now that the moon is in reverse, where a lot of you fell into some kind of depression, anxiety, or stress, because of this situation, because you weren't listening to your intuition and you just try to avoid this, you chose not to see, you chose not to listen, and now you're going through this. But Angel Michael is still saying to be strong, please be strong and just know that you can be strong and you can get through this because there's going to be other situations that are also coming to you for you to deal with. This is also faded. You have the Wheel of Fortune here. so. This is also letting me know that um, there's good times ahead, okay? There's good times, good vibration. You're supposed to be where you're supposed to be. Like this, you're not off track. This experience, for those of you that are going through it, could feel like you're off track, but you're just not, okay? You're on the right path. Everything is balanced out here. Tell me more. Ooh, wow, the Seven of Wands energy just flipped over. In reverse, I'm also seeing the Eight of Pentacles. I'm also seeing the Five of Swords. Um, there's a transition, you know, I feel like the transition here that you're experiencing, I feel like I have to go back here because I kind of like flipped into this energy. But there's a transition that happened that a lot of you don't want to happen. Clearly, you don't, you're not ready for this. You are having second thoughts about this. You just feel like you're just, you know, this is not what you wanted. But it's happening because it's necessary. And the Holy Spirit wants you to know that, know that that's what it is. This is necessary for you because you have been at a place where you felt like you were just out of place. Like you felt like you weren't yourself. You felt stuck. You felt trapped. You felt restricted. You felt buried within the situation. You felt blindfolded. You felt like people knew more than you did within this situation and because they did. You felt like you were laughed at. You were mocked in this situation. You felt like you were taken for a fool within the situation. And a lot of you are still dealing with self-esteem issues or self-value issues, okay? Because I see like you're trying to submit to someone that is definitely taking away your character or your value about yourself. Look at how you're looking here. You know, it's like you're trying to behave and be something that you're not within this energy. <sighs> oh my, this is pretty deep. And then there is this like constant vibration of you being stuck within this eight of uh, swords energy as well. It's like this is a this is the present moment <laughs> that you are going through this. And there's a someone on your back. There's a codependency energy. This could be Virgo because Virgo is ruled by the Empress in reverse. Well, Virgo is ruled by the Empress, but this card is in reverse. So there's a codependency issue. Someone that is using you, someone that is, you know, taking a, advantage of your kindness, you know, someone that is just playing you, playing you for a fool within this energy. It's like you're responsible for a grown, a grown adult. Like you're responsible for this person. It's like they're lazy. They don't want to try anything. This person wore a mask with you. I feel like this person covered their face or lied about what they were all about. 
and now you're seeing the truth when it's too late because you're stuck for those of you this is your mental state like you're stuck you can't move you're trapped it's too late but the holy spirit is like uh no it's your mental state this is your mind this is the, the your most powerful possession is your mind and you need to reprogram that because you're not trapped with this person or this situation the seven of wands the six of pentacles i'm seeing balance coming back into this i feel like you have been going through a lot of embarrassment a lot of enlightenment a lot of just discovering a lot of secrets into this situation because with this five it's like this person realized within this five of swords like damn okay you know i have caused so much disaster within this relationship and i was a part of the mess you know i was a part of those negative people that negative force that force that wanted to win within the situation and all they can think about is winning within this situation now i want to be different it's like this person was on this club with or on the train the hate train okay of other people this person jumped on the hate train and now they're jumping off of the train within the seven of wands in reverse all right and i'm also seeing balance balance is coming out balance is coming back because this person wants to bring balance back into this it's like oh my god what have i done this is the same person that was using you or making you feel used or you know, being very codependent on you being that wrong choice for you that person that was wearing a mask this is both mask energy not being able to see this person's true self like you wasn't able to see who this person truly was until it was too late that's what i'm getting here tell me more holy spirit all right so i'm also seeing here the nine of wands energy you also have the hermit and then you have the knight of swords energy knight of swords energy <laughs> in reverse there was definitely a blockage here definitely a blockage because this person's energy is just a little bit too loud you know i feel like this person needs to have some kind of communication skills because they don't i feel like they don't they don't like to hear what's being told to them they want to sh you know have a louder voice than you or want to interrupt you as a conversation is being held um I'm also seeing the hermit energy, you know, being it's pushing you away. And I feel like you didn't just give up on this connection. You you stayed and try to fight within this connection. Here's the fighting energy of the nine of wands in reverse, plus the hermit next to it. You try to fight to the point that you lost yourself within this connection. You lost your spirituality. You lost your wisdom. You felt like this person was manipulating you. And again, you know, that Virgo energy in the Hermit. Plus, you have Virgo energy here within the Empress in reverse. So this was a bad choice, you know, um, a bad decision here. Like, you just look at this whole relationship as just a mistake. Like, you've made a lot of mistakes here. Like you're choosing to just walk away from this situation. Like you just don't want to fight. You feel beaten up. You feel drained. You feel tired. You feel like there's no point. Angel Michael is reminding you to have courage and have strength because you are strong. You're strong. A lot of you are just exhausted by the strength energy. Tell me more. all right so you have the ace of wands you also have the judgment you have the two of wands energy Ooh, 
there was a bad decision here i feel like you know there's a judgment call of course the ace of wands is like a lot of you're choosing not to entertain this anymore you're choosing not to entertain this the ace of wands is in reverse like you're putting a pause on this this is decided there was a bad move here it's like they had a choice to make and they made the wrong choice within the two of wands energy um you feel like this person is not interested like you feel like this person is not serious about you and i feel like this person is realizing what they're about to lose but you're still looking like you're stuck within this eight here this is worrying me so you have the seven of swords you have the knight of pentacles in reverse so this person doesn't try to give you any form of stability you know this is a contract because this was a very strong pull for you this also represents the six of cups in reverse a lot of memories like you're just looking at this person like you know a lot of memories that you don't want to remember anytime you think of this person you think of all the things that this person have caused you or done to you within this situation um Hmm. I'm just seeing like this person is this giving me an energy let me just clarify this knight of pentacles because there's a lot of lies too that is going to need to come out and I feel like they can't move forward from this until the lies have been revealed actually so tell me more about this knight of pentacles energy holy spirit holy angels holy father angel guys ancestors um what is this knight of pentacles energy the nine of pentacles look at this a loss powerless like this person is showing up powerless here within this nine of pentacles no power no independence so they are codependent on your money they're codependent on your dreams your creativity your ideas like this person is just leaning on you in every way so there's no income there's no job like they're not making enough or they're not making anything at all <clears throat> you have the responsibilities here within the relationship around you right now and you are just like oh my gosh <laughs> You know, a lot of you could have been together for a while or been in each other's life for a while, or this is just a past karmic relationship coming into your life. Maybe they they provided for you in a past life, and this is how they felt, and you were codependent, and now it's like exchanging the roles within this life. You're exchanging the roles, baby, within this life. Okay, so let's just see what the Six of Swords were about. Why is the Six of Swords in reverse? Why this hiccup? <clears throat> Why this hiccup? Mm, because they didn't want this to happen. So this is like, even with you, you didn't want this to happen either. You didn't want this transition to happen. You just wanted peace. You wanted this person to apologize to you. To take responsibility and let's just see tell me more tell me more tell me more tell me more you have the star in reverse you felt like there was a, a slim chance of opportunity for you and this person to make it anyways you feel like this it wasn't the right time or yeah the four of cups you just was ready to move on you were ready to see other things <sighs> you were ready to see other things you've been waiting for this person to get it together for such a long time you're looking at this as the star in reverse you wanted them to apologize even though you felt like this person wasn't going to do it 
like there was just a small chance of opportunity that they might have gave you an apology and you were just done waiting for this person's energy to to shift basically tell me about this eight of swords i just want to see the eight of swords what's going on with this eight of swords this restriction being trapped <clears throat> I also feel it's about the lies because you have the seven of swords here where this person is a liar whoever you're dealing with there's just so much lies here tell me about this eight of swords page of pentacles so this is interesting tell me more about this page of pentacles <clears throat> Hmm. Yo, I, I, oh my gosh. Tell me more. Can I have one more? <clears throat> okay. Oh my. All right. Um, so the information that you don't know is that this person has another family because this person is not giving you the stability. Something is going on with this person because I'm like, why is the page of pentacles here? Like they have some kind of resources or some kind of, you know, way of making a living. But where is it going to? Because it seems like it's not going to you. They're not invested in you in any form of way. You have this person as the nine of pentacles in reverse here. And then it's like a loss with money, like power. Like so their money is tied up in different places. They can't, it's like, I'm seeing like there's some form of opportunity here. And then it's all about the home here. Someone that they consider a home with. This is where the money is going to. This is where the abundance is. This is what you don't know. So this person is keeping this from you. This person is keeping the truth hidden from you. So a lot of you are dealing with someone that is already with someone else and they have so little to give to you because all their money, all their things are bind up within this person that they are not planning to leave. Um, and a lot of you know this. This is opposite from what I just pulled today for you. As you can see, this is like the opposite read. It's like you're tired, exhausted. The Holy Spirit is saying, like Angel Michael told you, like they were showing you signs, giving you red flags, and you show you chose not to entertain. You chose not to, you know, be into this connection. Well, you chose not to like listen to your intuition. Um, so some of you try to entertain this person until it just hits south. But I'm seeing like these scales are going to be even now. So this was a karmic, um, some karmic energy that needed to be experienced. Okay. You have the judgment as well. That is a karmic vibration too. And the judgment is also in the upright with the wheel of fortune. This was destined to happen. A lot of you are like destined. Yeah, it's showing up like you're on the right path. Tell me about this Empress. What this person really wanted from this connection. Gems, let's see. Yeah, this Empress Six of Pentacles wasn't giving you nothing in this relationship this was a one-way relationship you were putting in all the work and this person wasn't trying to give you any form of nothing back here tell me about the strength tell me about the strength holy spirit holy angels holy father tell me about the strength then you have the emperor defeated energy lost all form of control over this situation there's a lot of manipulation <sighs> playing the victim here a lack of determination a lack of boldness a lack of leadership this feeling lost in the sauce 
Wow. Tell me about the moon. Holy Spirit. The moon energy. The moon energy. Wow. So three of pentacles. You just feel like this was about a friend. This was someone that you worked with, went to school with. Um, you guys are just always together making plans or make or creating together pulling up ideas together this could have been a friendship and this is shady as hell within the three um, this is also about money for those of you because I'm seeing like some kind of pentacles energy I'm seeing some kind of demotion losing here being demoted Tell me about this Wheel of Fortune. Wow, there's a lot of um, pentacles. The Five of Pentacles as well that's coming up here. With the Three of Pentacles. <laughs> this is a lot of loss. But I'm also seeing Five of Pentacles in reverse. So it's like the good vibes is that you're going to be getting out of this hardship. This abandonment situation. This money issue. A lot of you could have loaned this person because they were using you money oh my god but this person had a whole different relationship going on you guys this person had a whole relationship going on here all right let me just use the awakening 1111 this will be in my description box email me if you want to purchase your copy all right, so let's see. Ooh, Empress. I just feel like within this Empress energy, like this person, because they're the Empress in reverse, okay? They're the Empress in reverse, and this person just needed to be on your level to kind of trick you into this relationship or this connection. Hmm. It says past life love on the card. First, it says man manifest manifesting past life love, um, setting my powers, letting you go for good. Ooh. Tell me more. Virgo energy coming out again for those of you dealing with a Virgo. Um, chemistry. Wow. Coming clean energy. So there's going to be some kind of conversation here. I feel like the stars are aligning in this one for this to happen. Even though you feel like within the star, it's in reverse here. So you're feeling very hopeless within the situation. Very helpless. Like there's no opportunity that is going to be happening here. But there is a coming clean energy. It says, I'm hot and cold at times. Do you still want me? I'm hot and cold at times. Do you still want me? It's like this person is surrendering their game because. Oof, all right. Distance releasing this is going to be surprising to you because i'm getting the opposite within this deck now it's like you're going through so much you know that this person is with someone else this person caused you a lot of embarrassment then you stop this whole charade you stop this relationship within the ace of wands here you made this decision because this person had a choice about from two situations and they made the wrong choice they didn't choose you so boom boom so there's a distance there is a release in energy there's a lot of tears and a lot of crying that actually happened within the situation here it is i came with drama and a third party problem look at that Woof! i came with drama and a third party problem so confirm this person was already in a relationship their money was tied up with someone else they had a whole family that that energy that I picked up, you guys, this 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 third party don't know nothing. They're thinking they have a healthy relationship. They're thinking everything is good. You see? I 
that's crazy player vibes also i feel like this person wanted to it's like they got caught up they didn't expect this to go so far but now they're just labored as this player they took a risk they took a risk here it says here i'm not ready to commit but let me whisper sugar in your ears i just feel like this person is not ready to have you as a relationship as yet because they're still tied up with another person instead of saying look i'm unavailable but let me let, let's just have you know friendship with benefits here you know because nobody's gonna want that they're just like saying sweet stuff and making promises that they can't keep tell me more holy spirit foundation number nine <laughs> okay this is a little bit different because this is a foundation number nine and then i'm just getting like we have a third party i'm not ready for i'm not ready to commit but let me whisper sugar in your ears and then this one says foundation number nine i'm ready for something serious like what risk and nine so this person is hot and cold i think i had that energy it says it right here i'm oh i'm hot and cold at times do you still want me chemistry so this person is going back and forth with you here's the four of cups you're done with the back and forth oh <laughs> so this person is not consistent so this is why you were losing hope faith like you're saying like this is hopeless this is a player like you know that they don't want to commit with you they don't want a commitment but they want to still have sex they want friendship with benefits and they promised you the nine of pentacles they promised you financial stability they promised you you know just that powerful relationship building together traveling together being free being happy like they wanted someone they wanted something serious but they gave you this hot and cold vibration like you knew that this person was the knight of swords in reverse oh man the knight of swords in reverse look y'all the knight of swords in reverse because the knight of swords in reverse is someone that is not ready for some form of connection like they have other people like they have other things other interested on their interests is um other options their risk but you but you felt this from the beginning like they but you chose not to judge a book by its cover but also that's a good thing but also the angels are saying that they have given you signs from the get-go like angel michael is saying like your intuition you know picked this up like you knew that something shady about this this three here you knew that something was going on something was off within this moon energy your intuition was picking this up but you chose not to to listen to your intuition now this is done it's over and now a lot of you are facing depression and anxiety and you're just exhausted with the strength don't know if you can keep going within this energy so i'm just getting a back and forth a distance emotionally or physically distance from you but there's a strong chemistry between you and this person revealed loyalty <sighs> look at this i enjoy being with you but not ready to commit what is look at this you see what i'm saying like this person doesn't know what they want it's like I'm ready for something serious. I feel like this is just going back and forth with you. I'm not ready to commit, but let me whisper sugar in your ear and then revealed. Like, this is the truth. 
like you rolled a dice with this person and now you're realizing that the truth is like this person wasn't ready to commit they were planting dreams in your ears sugar in your ears and it wasn't even they were planting a foundation in your ears look oh man not ready to commit the the sugar is i'm ready to i'm ready for something serious right that's what they're planted in your ears some kind of foundation maybe a family that they already have with someone else but they the reveal is the gag is the truth is i enjoy being with you so they do like you okay they do have fun with you they do feel a different vibration with you but not ready to commit and the reason why is because this person is already with someone else this person is already with someone else look at this on the back of the deck <laughs> confusion eight of swords energy um tension a lot of tension a lot of arguments a lot of trying to get into this person's head look what are you thinking what is going on here you know kind of vibe conflicts are overthinking well i'm sorry i can't really conflicts are overtaking me but you're all i see conflicts are overtaking me but you're all i see oh my goodness i feel like you're you were pleading with this person until you weren't like you're pleading with this person until you stopped <sighs> all right so what's the connection for these two the connection for these two what is the connection for these two what's the power Ooh, i got three so on the back of the deck wow <laughs> codependency codependency we talked about that do we really need to get back into that situation we have trust here there is no trust within this foundation honeymoon is also coming up within this situation so this person could already be married okay and you, some of you are trying to get in touch with this person and cannot let your friends help you because you're going through a lot of stress a lot of depression a lot of anxiety something has been changing with it within you you're losing yourself i feel like a lot of you have signed some form of contract with this person as well not knowing that they had a double life okay not knowing that they had a double life tell me about the seven of wands energy the death being stuck here scorpio's energy for those of you that are dealing with a scorpio or scorpio moon but going through this energy of the death because just giving up on something giving up on a roller coaster giving up on people that are trying to like take them down or take you down because this is just one energy this is like a collective base between you and this person but i just feel like there was like something that happened within number 13 some kind of moving on some kind of transition and again you know having that um six of swords energy not being able to accept what's going on here and the six of swords is also here having a hard time to accept what's going on and just being stuck and not really being able to move on within the situation it's like at the same time giving giving up on this given up on this situation tell me about this this eight of pentacles holy spirit the eight of pentacles eight of pentacles Ooh, something i think i had two well you have feeling overwhelmed and dealing with the, the three of swords so this person is trying to work on this trying to build up that eight of pentacles energy trying to better themselves from this experience yeah there's two different things here i mean there's three three of swords to a pentacles i mean this person has to make a decision they're overwhelmed with this i feel like this is very recent as well because they're showing this up as this heartbreak within this energy within this eight 
is a very recent situation. Tell me about the Five of Swords in reverse. They're trying to heal. Something about healing as well. Five of Swords. The King of Pentacles. It's like they want to re like solve this five with you, man. It's like they know they're wrong. But this has got out of control. It's like they want to solve this five with you. At least that's something that they're very sin sincere about. Because you have the King of Pentacles. So they want to bring a lot of stability to that situation as much as possible tell me about this nine of wands energy wow it's the five of wands and the fool so again wanting to solve the fives with you and i feel like this person just wants to jump in they don't want to stay stay within this cold energy they just want to celebrate move on <clears throat> Tell me about the hermit energy. The hermit energy. Mm, the seven of cups energy in reverse. So there's a lot of uh, multiple situations that's going on here. I feel like this could be other people that pushed you away within the situation that wasn't there for you that was very shady this could have been friends this could have been their friends their family um but these are all people that are on their that uh, on this person's side because it's coming off very overwhelming and is this coming off as you have been attacked here as well the five of wands the five of swords like you know you have been attacked on every level well on those two levels <laughs> of deceit and lies and deception and just you know trying to get you out of your comfort zone and your your character you know trying to do the most here so tell me about this knight of swords holy spirit because it seems like there's a blockage here too yeah, there's a distance, some kind of emotional or physical distance between you and this person. All right, so tell me more. The Ace of Wands in reverse. Why is the Ace of Wands in reverse? The King of Wands. It's like this is the only way you felt like you could have like solved the situation is being able to move on with your life and just focusing on your success and your creativity and taking care of the people around you but you just feel like you know what you can do anything with that situation you wanted clarity you tried your best but you just felt like this was the right thing to do and you were really determined and bold about that move about cutting that person off from your life tell me about the decision and you made that decision so tell me about it so yeah, you decided to stop this. You decided that this was a lot of manipulation or emotional manipulation. Like this person wasn't serious. Like they were they were selling you. Oh my God, they were selling you the dream that you wanted. They were using that against you. Like they were giving you like, okay, I want a commitment with you, and we're gonna do this and we're gonna do that, and you know, don't just wait for me. And you know, they were just manipulating your mind and telling you all these lies and plans that they want to have with you using your desires of your heart against you as well and wow and i just feel like you picked this up you picked on this and you picked this up and you decided to block this person because they were using your heart chakra against you um even telling you that you you are a decent person and you're a nice person and you're supposed to be you know like using your faith and your spiritual beliefs against you like telling you that it's a you supposed to be of service you're supposed to help me if you walk away from me then you're just you know you're, you're not as spiritual as you think you're not as religious as you think like they're just using your beliefs your heart chakra the things that that you hold value to yourself against you this is crazy let me put this down a little bit 
yeah that's what i'm picking up here for this person's energy Tell me more but you picked it up <laughs> You picked it up with the high priestess like you're spiritual you are so spiritual and this is the problem and this is why they failed at the manipulation at the emotional manipulation i'm getting the high priestess in cancer for those of you that are dealing with a cancer or pisces or an aries or a libra all right major arcana well not so for the pisces but tell me more about this two Two of Wands, Holy Spirit. You have the Seven of Swords. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Not the Seven of Swords. Oh, my God. I'm losing it. The Seven of Pentacles. I feel like we have the Seven of Swords here. So, but this is the Seven of Pentacles for the Two of Wands in reverse. Mm. Oh, I feel like this person just didn't invest in you. It's seven of pentacles, the two of wands. They didn't invest in you. They didn't take you seriously. Um, they didn't choose you. They weren't preparing for a relationship with you. There was that you weren't the interest. And this is a sad situation. So you have been used. You have been used and played with. A lot of you are wondering if this love was real, which I felt like within this read, I'm not, I'm just, oh, this person is coming off really weird. I do feel like they, they like you a lot where it's like, I want to solve the five of pentacles. I want to solve the five of swords. I want to solve the five of wands, like all these things that they put you through, through like emotional loss. Um, what else? um emotional like no stability at all within the relationship no investment within the relationship no security within the relationship you know making you feel like really down or stabbed in the chest and people just over you and trying to kick you out and take your place like you're like you're replaceable like this person makes you feel replaceable easily replaceable seven of swords and they could have this i just feel like this person is very like emotional what is it manipulative with their your emotions so they could even say that you know how many people want to be with me you, like they will you know what i'm saying they will like try to use that against you that is crazy tell me more so you have the uh, ooh the sun energy as well in reverse it's like i'm getting like you're not happy follow your 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 heart because you're not happy with this you know that there's something going on within this energy the seven of swords it's like this relationship is just beyond crazy it's like this person tricked you played games with you to get you into bed you got into bed you fell for this person and the truth is they had a family all along this person is showing up as someone that could have possibly be on their honeymoon while you couldn't get in touch with them. You couldn't get in touch with them because they were on their honeymoon. This is not about you. I don't feel like this honeymoon is about you. The trust situation is not there. Let your friends help you is definitely about you or your family or people that are close to you, but you feel like you're going to be judged okay because it's simple like they just want you to leave and move on with your life but you have you are already like devoted yourself to this person but i feel like you're ready to do that you're ready to leave because you're realizing that this is just not happening the way that you thought it was going to happen okay you're even look at this person in the memories as is like oh my god the contract is like please let this be in reverse it's like you don't want to deal with this right now you're pleading with your angel guide to like take this away from you and i feel like because it's a lesson if you don't want to deal with this now cool but you're gonna to have to deal with this somehow right because it's a lesson all right so let's see i feel like it's a cosmic lesson you guys or some kind of karmic lesson or karmic correction that needs to happen here 
wow so this person is pisces for some of you watching you waiting spying on you oh oh my god it's like they picked you out man and they're going to come towards you but when it gets too heavy this person disappears because you're not their first priority they already have something they do care about you but i feel like it's on a physical level it's like you're giving them what is missing in the relationship you're giving them what they used to have within this family like this is basically foundation of home and stability here within the relationship they have i feel like this person another thing that i'm getting like this person is not the one that created this abundance i'm tapping into the the person that they're with and it seems like the person that they're with created this abundance this person is this person whoever this is whoever they're with is coming from a good family let's put it like that look at them this is what they are the page of pentacles don't not sure what they need to do with their lives but this person loved them anyway and took them in and this is how that's very hurtful for this person whoever they're with here but they have a family together they have a whole life but this person is living a secret with you and this person is this person tricked you for some of you this person told you yeah i'm in a relationship but we're about to leave each other i'm about to get divorced nah no do you see this ace of pentacles in reverse no no there's no divorce now when this person finds out this person is going to lose everything but what you know you have to be careful with that and make sure that you're not the one to do this because you're dealing with the page of pentacles if this person doesn't have anything to lose then you're going to create a monster you're going to see the bad side of this person you don't want that to happen you don't want to get hurt in a situation physically okay so just know that for those of you who are finding this out like you just distance yourself heal and distance yourself get yourself back because obviously this person did a lot of things kept you restricted kept you strapped you can't even move on like a lot of you want to move on you were scared for a long time i feel like i'm seeing the four of pen the four of cups in reverse so now you're feeling like you want to move on you feel like someone is out there for you you know what i'm saying you feel like it's time but you're still showing up as trapped in the present moment now you're still showing up as trapped in the present moment this person has someone else this person has someone else a whole foundation okay let's get some messages in here for you look at this look at this some of you are separated this is you gemini's in reverse the lovers the gag is the secret is the lovers in reverse the lovers in reverse so you guys are having issues hmm. there's a regret here you know there's a third party you know what you feel it but you don't know what or who you know that it's a friend or someone close to them because they're always hanging out or saying they're, they're going somewhere but you don't know what's going on this person is not chasing you you're chasing them that's another thing that i'm seeing here this person is not chasing you you're chasing them all right codependency Oof. guys have to break free from that oh no i'm not going to take this if these come out again then it's meant to come out all right holy spirit holy angels holy father what is going on what's the energy for gemini's energy pull what's the energy for gemini's energy pull Oh, number 22, she feels she knows. Oh my God, talk about your intuition. She feels 
she knows baby the holy spirit is saying she feels and she knows and a crazy thing about this is um i just felt like again you were receiving a lot of signs but there was an energy of avoiding the situation as well. Number 22. We're getting number 22 again. Uh, February 2nd. Or the 22 of a month. Wow. But I haven't seen this in a minute. She knows. She feels she knows. Wow. So the Holy Spirit is basically saying the Empress like... You're very spirited. You already know. Like, this person knows it. This person was messing with your intuition. This person was messing with your emotional desires. This person was messing with your thoughts. Trying to keep you restricted. Trying to keep you trapped within the Eight of Swords. Telling you lies that clearly you don't know yet. You Like, you don't have proof about it. You don't have proof about this within the seven of swords but you feel it you said she said she feels she knows but you haven't gotten the proof yet the pudding wow love that card you know something is up <laughs> you know something is up here oh look at that number 21 spiritual service spiritual service so you're getting help from the holy spirit and look at the crown chakra activation just receiving a lot of activation look at the world in your hand you're about to travel it's like they're giving you an insight of your future and what you're going to be what you're going to experience what's left for you to do you're having some form of understanding spiritual assistance that's what i want to say spiritual assistance spiritual service and you're you're being of service you're 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 doing the work you're helping people you're helping the collective you are even having a conversation on the street and letting someone know that there is a light at the end of the tunnel you know whatever you know it's like you're not preaching to them to make them feel bad about their life and who they are but you're you're trying to connect with them as a sister a soul sister or soul brother you know so i'm seeing number 21 number 22 you're trying to give that positivity back which is wonderful but you are also being shown wow you're being shown a lot of abundance that are coming into your life you have an angel around you angel of imagination so getting yourself back and getting that passion back getting that wand that wand energy right here that you put in delay or you decided not to adventure this or cut this person off sexually for those of you because look at that lovers is in reverse you stop sleeping with this person and you are having a lot of um power behind that as well but i just feel like you're tapping into something different for yourself you're bringing back the light within you with it within with this energy around you with this angel around you number 17th or the 17th of a month um, I know that res resonates with me because my birthday is on the 17th, but um, this could also be January 7th or July 1st, okay? We also have Angel of Grounding, number 14th, April 1st or, February, or January 4th, and it's just like basically going into some form of solitude or take some form of steps back. And trying to just venture and see things from a whole new perspective or a direction. Um, because you feel like you do want to solve something here. And this angel is here to assist. To kind of help with that. And also being able to see the other side or the other perspective of things. So, so you're trying to humble yourself there. Okay. Hmm. 
look at this card and I'm seeing like oh these are like the famous stones behind it looks like people but they were actually stones like a site like a history site or something like that you're being taken to a place of peace and some somewhere that means something I feel like that's where your ancestors might have generated from as well to you but angel of past issues number 23 february 3rd or march 2nd and this is about family this is about memories this is about the contract as well that you are experiencing or you guys don't want to you know deal with right now within this six of cups energy it's like every time you think of whatever this was this is just a bad vibe bad jojo bad decision here that you have made with this person okay tell me more holy spirit oh this is a lot but this is it i'm not taking any more i'm not gonna take any more you have number 23 you have number 20 you have number nine i feel like we had this yesterday it says wisdom of divine feminine and here it is again this beautiful card of virgo energy and it's just that you are an older soul and definitely you are filled with wisdom but i feel like within this energy pull like you and it's crazy because she feels she knows kind of vibration so you already know everything and i feel like this person was trying to challenge that you know it's like you are they don't want to let you go because you are this energy and they had to fake who they are to get with you and to trick you into this situation as well you also have nine here you also have six here as well love the sunflowers by the way a lot of queen of wands energy look at the music something to do with the music so a lot of you are musicians um writers maybe you play the piano <laughs> as well maybe you are a drummer um maybe you make beats maybe you're just interested in beats but I feel like a lot of you could be singers as well because your your crown your throat chakra is so activated there and you're expressing yourself through music or creation like you're creating maybe you're an artist ooh with a sunflower you're an artist or you make um you're an artist in different ways like you could make furniture like you know little things like these or little angels like these like you you work really well with your hands um or you are a makeup artist because i'm definitely seeing like a lot of you might be into makeup or skin health health wise like but you're using maybe you massage people face and gives them a facial or something like that for a living i don't know but there's so many things that's coming up right here hmm you have number 23 number 20th number nine and number six it's like number 23 is defend till the end like you're defending like you're about to go to war for something go to battle for something you're also protected within this energy and i'm also seeing softly softly the tender touch it's like something that happened to you really sparked this determination and it's crazy because you have this determination here like you have that you you cut this person off with the king of wands energy like you gotta stop having sex with this person or something because you, you just cut this relationship high and dry so you didn't know that this was going on you just didn't it was it just broke your heart this really did break your heart here mm. oh my and it's like you're definitely stuck on the new energy that's coming in this could be music again a lot of you could be poets like you have just this beautiful voice maybe you're singers okay it's just like you're, you're just expressing yourself through so many creations music maybe you're expressing yourself through building things like statues furnitures um you're just makeup artists like you're just you know you just 
I don't know, you're using your hands for many things to heal the face, to heal the skin, to heal the body. And it's like this come very easy for you because you're the Empress. I mean, with the Empress energy, this could be good energy, but I also feel like this could be a jealous form of energy as well. Like you just have a lot of good things, right? And then you have a lot of bad things that could follow you. It's like a blessing and a curse to have this energy. But this is what I have for you guys. I hope that this resonates. Go ahead and thumbs up the video if you like this pattern, this format of the video that I'm doing today. I felt like, you know what? This will, this will be this way will be good for the channel and for me, right? Um, and for you as well. So love you guys and I will see you guys in your next one. All the information about me will be in the description box and I will see you guys soon. Bye guys. Ooh.